Hey folks, Phil Gallier here for Daily D&T again. Remember this week we're playing the Blue-White Taxes deck with Meddling Mages and Spell Quellers. We are currently 2-1. Yesterday we took down the mirror. Playing against Strom. What do you think, YouTube? Keep or Mulligan? I'll let you think about it for a minute. No. Keep. Junk that. Done. I fear for the life of my ether vial. But boy, if it resolves, it will be a good ether vial. So the interesting question will be, will I fetch planes or tundra with this land? I will fetch nothing with this land and defer this decision until a later turn. <coughs> All right, so far, so good. Breach. Breach. Actually, a show and tell deck. Hmm. This is not looking good for the home team, YouTube. Hmm. All right. One F six and see what happens here. Alright, opponent, you can find another creature. Alright. Strong. Um, I do think our deck is going to be very good against this, though. Uh, Revoker, Deputy, Lavinia, get in here. Deafening Silence, you can come to uh, Council of Judgment? You're borderline. Geist of St. Trapped, you're a very fast clock. You might get in here. Path, you also belong in the maybe pile because you're better than the swords. So swords are gonna go out, Jitte's gonna go out. I'm probably gonna end up boarding out the entire Stoneforge Mystic package, maybe leaving in Sword of Fire and Ice as something to just naturally draw and use to protect a creature. <coughs> uh, so one thing I will say that I'm really liking about this blue white DNT build is that in the post sideboard matches, even after we board out some creatures, because we have so many utility creatures in the board, our Aether Vials are better in post sideboard games than in the average DNT deck. Um, yeah, everything else here looks pretty good. Um, you can make an argument for playing one Stone Forge over the one random Path to Exile. Well, I'm going to play the path. If nothing else, in some weird circumstances, I can just path one of my own creatures to get my other color. Uh, yes. I will keep this. Uh, and this is going to be one of the weird hands where I actually don't play an Aether Vial on turn one, even though I have the ability to. Uh, those are pretty rare.
Meddling Mage, what are you naming? I'm not going to show the Caracas yet. <coughs> Show and tell is the thing that kills me more immediately. So I'm probably going to name it. We can buy a decent amount of time against sneak attack with Caracas. And we can also just buy time to get towards the end game. <coughs> um so very interesting there. My opponent, recognizing that they need to probably win via sneak attack, fetches for Volcanic Island there, which is going to allow me to waste land, uh, which is pretty gross. Nice. Um, I definitely like the deck that we put together here. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. Uh, we're obviously going to be a little worse on the draw. As my opponent can theoretically cast a show and tell before I can do something cool. Um, this probably falls into the good enough category. I'm not in love. But we can do things. Would you like to Sorcerer's Spy Gland and glass my Wasteland or my Caracas? I have a feeling it's my Wasteland. But this will present problems for you as well. Interesting. This is another time where playing the mom might just be better than playing the vial. I am going to play the vial. And now my opponent knows the exact contents of my hand. All right, so this one can name Caracas or my vial. <coughs> really, really depends on the texture of their hand. If they have an omniscience and they're just waiting on a show and tell. Alright, so it looks like my opponent will be going for a sneak attack based kill here. They have left me with the vial. So I play the Thalia, and it resolves. I like seeing a ponder that looks like that. My mom also might be attacking instead of protecting Thalia this game. because we may be able to change the number of cards that my opponent draws with a Grizzle Brand by sneaking in extra points of damage. So if my opponent doesn't have more lands. I can't cast Sneak Attack anyway. I think I'm going to end up just committing pretty heavily to the board and hoping for the best. <coughs> the awkward thing is that 
I'm playing into a pyroplasm if I take a mom attack. So does it change my clock? So if I hold back one mom each time, I attack for two this turn, followed by five next turn. So that's seven, that puts my opponent to six. So next turn they can't draw. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold back a mom. So this will be my opponent's fourth land. If they have sneak attack, they can cast it. All right, a pyroclasm. So it's the the exact sort of scenario that I just talked about. <coughs> <clears throat> so I get to save one thing. What is that one thing? I guess it is my Thalia. I guess I shouldn't have played the Lavinia. I guess that was just an error. Now do I want to path to exile and get an island? I think I do. That's crazy. Like what are we what are we doing with that? I can recruit her for deputy deputy both of these away. Wasteland my opponent. and have Caracas. That seems pretty sick. Let's do that. card doesn't get deputy of attention in Spellqueller. Accordingly, I have potentially made a terrible mistake. It's recoverable. But I just was not thinking about that. I think we're still getting there. Because we blink that spyglass out. And then we wasteland this. It takes my opponent off of both show and tells and sneak attacks. Um. So if I would have taken the time to figure out my line a little better, I think I probably would have taken this anyway. <coughs> because this line allows me to 100% take my opponent off of a sneak attack, while also making it so they need like land show and tell idiot, or maybe even land show and tell idiot omniscience to beat me. Um, so I think everything's fine, uh, but, you know, obviously did some things suboptimally there. Uh, the other thing I should have done is tap the Aether Vial to put in the Recruiter in case my opponent does have a Counterspell, because that leaves me with one more body, and like I can already cast whatever I'm going to get anyway. 
uh, since uh, the true name is in the sideboard. All right, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and we'll see what sort of record we can put up with this deck.